Hi guys! For this video, I will show you how to remote SSH your Raspberry Pi using Visual Studio Code. Before that, please like, share, subscribe, and press the bell to get the latest update from us. I'm using Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. First step, we need SD card with the latest Raspberry Pi OS. Before that, I will add two files in the SD card so that the Raspberry Pi can connect to my local network at the first boot. Now, I connect the SD card to my computer. Open drive for SD card. For example, boot at drive E. Create an empty file with SSH type to enable SSH in Raspberry Pi. Then, create another file for the Raspberry Pi to connect to my local network. Name the file as wpa underscore supplicant dot conf Open that file using any text editor. For example, I'm using Atom Text Editor. You can use a script that I have shared in the Citron tutorial page. Replace this part with your Wi-Fi SSID and password. Save. Close the file and eject the SD card. This is the updated SD card. Now, I will insert into Raspberry Pi. Then, power up the Raspberry Pi. While waiting the Raspberry Pi to completely boot, we can download Visual Studio Code. Visit code.visualstudio.com and download the software based on your computer OS. Finish download, you can install and open it The UI will be something like this. Then you need to install the extension. You can click on this icon. Search for SSH. Click on the first result, Remote SSH. This extension is from Microsoft. Click Install button. OK, done install. You will be noticed this symbol mentioned open a remote window. Click on that symbol and choose connect to host. Select add new SSH host. Then we need to insert Raspberry Pi host name. Write the following pi at raspberry pi dot local and enter. For now, we expect the Raspberry Pi is completely boot and connect to the local network. Please make sure your computer and Raspberry Pi are connected to the same network. This step is to choose where to save the host name. I will choose the first option. Then click connect button. If you see something like this, Raspberry Pi local has fingerprint dot dot dot. It means the VS Code have found the Raspberry Pi. Click continue. Insert password Raspberry. Then 
Now it is trying to connect to Raspberry Pi. The connection is successful. You can check here. Now let's explore the folder. Click on Explorer icon. Then click on Open Folder button. You can choose the path of the folder. By default, it is Home Pi. Click OK. Insert Password Raspberry. Now you can see the list of folders in Home Pi. However, there is no Desktop, Documents and Downloads folder. What we need to do? Click on Terminal tab. We need to enable the VNC. Write sudo recipe config. Select interfacing options, VNC, yes, and OK. Then go to advanced options, resolution. Choose full HD resolution and OK. Now I will restart my Raspberry Pi, sudo reboot. It will take time to reboot and we need to connect again. Insert password Raspberry. Click on reload window. Insert password Raspberry. OK, now you can see more common folders in the Raspberry Pi. It seems like you remote using VNC or fully set up the Raspberry Pi with keyboard, mouse and monitor. If you want to create a file, for example a Python file under Documents, right click and select New File, give a file name, So you can write a coding at the top side and write a command in terminal at the bottom side. For me, the advantage of VS Code compared to other SSS software like Putty, VS Code have better in UI design and comfortable to write program. So that's all for today. I'm Idris from Citron Technologies. Thank you for watching.